Celebrate the World, Día de los Muertos, written by Hannah Elliott and illustrated by Jorge Gutierrez. At the end of October every year, a very special holiday begins. It is Día de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. Día de los Muertos is an ancient tradition celebrated in Mexico and other places around the world. During this holiday, people take time to remember and celebrate family and friends who have passed away. Although it's called Day of the Dead, our celebrations last several days. With delicious food, brightly colored decorations, and festive parties, we honor the lives of the people we miss, including those who left us many years ago. But before Dia de los Muertos begins, we must prepare. We bake a tasty sweet roll called Pan de Muertos, or Bread of the Dead. We make atol, a hot drink of masa, water, cinnamon, sugar, and vanilla. We gather flowers, especially cempasuchil. These are also called flor de muertos, or the flower of the dead. In our homes, we set up altars, or altares. We decorate them with offerings, or ofrendas, like candles and flowers. The light of the candles and the smell of the flowers help guide the spirits back to us. On the altar, we also place items that were important to our loved ones. We gather cherished books and musical instruments and special jewelry. We add their favorite foods and drinks. We add pictures. We surround ourselves with skeletons. We make huge skeletons out of paper mache and teeny tiny skeletons out of clay. We even paint them and dress them up. We pose the skeletons doing silly things like playing the guitar, or dancing, or even taking a bath. Along with skeletons, we decorate our bakeries, schools, cemeteries, and other places in our communities with beautiful cut-out paper designs called papel picado and with skulls or calaveras. Many of these skulls are made out of sugar. They are embellished with colorful icings and designs. Some skulls have the names of our departed on them. Some even have our names. We do all this to celebrate the beauty of life and death rather than mourn it. After a few days, many of us visit the cemeteries for the last of the celebrations. We clean the tombstones of our loved ones, we play music, and we tell stories. It is a festive time. When Dia de los Muertos is over, we put away the skeletons and the skulls and the altars. But the special holiday reminds us to enjoy life all year round. And it reminds us to honor our loved ones. This way, they stay in our hearts forever.